Casey White. Welcome to the Boundary Beauty Show. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm having a fabulous day. I want my audience to know that Casey White is chair, board of trustees for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Casey, we're in, we're in uh, a new month, and so people are looking at a whole lot of things differently. Tell me why is this cystic, what is cystic fibrosis before we get started, and who's impacted? Yeah, cystic fibrosis is a rare progressive genetic disease that affects the lungs and the pancreas and other organs. About 40,000 people in the U.S. live with cystic fibrosis, and it affects um, all races and ethnicities. As of today, there's no cure for CF, but we've made incredible progress in extending the lives of um, those who live with cystic fibrosis. How does this impact one's day-to-day life if it impacts so many organs in the body? So CF is a complex disease, so it really affects each person differently. Um, For some people, managing their care is really a full-time job. Uh, Treatments for CF include um, breathing treatments through a nebulizer, airway clearance, countless pills each day. And when the infections in our lungs are particularly bad, we may need to be hospitalized for IV antibiotics. Um, For others, you know, they're able to manage their disease and also work and have families. But every person with CF um, really needs to make caring for their health a a top priority in their life. Can I make uh, the leap and think that you also have a personal journey with cystic fibrosis? I do. Um, I was diagnosed with CF in the early 80s, and at that time, um, it was a very different disease. The life expectancy was about 15 years old, Uh, but my grandfather has a motto of thou shalt go for it, and that is the approach that my family took to manage my disease. We got involved in fundraising um, right away uh, because we believed in the mission of the CF Foundation. I started speaking at events when I was nine years old and have been involved ever since. Um, It hasn't been easy. I've had multiple hospitalizations and surgeries and um, participated in clinical trials and daily care. But um, because of advances in research, I just celebrated my 45th birthday. So I officially tripled my life expectancy. I'm a wife and a mom and a high school lacrosse coach. And having the honor of serving as the chair of the board of trustees for the CF Foundation truly feels like a dream come true. I didn't even know I could dream. I'm so grateful to be able to give back to an organization that has really changed my life. I've got to deviate from my skip a little bit because you have done, you've had a remarkable uh, miracle happen in your life. I don't know how else to uh, entitle that. When you have had this miracle happen in your life, how do you live your life differently from the rest of the people on the planet? Well, I think every person with CF lives their life to the fullest because we know that uh, life is precious and um, we try to um, really live our life to the fullest. And we're able to do that because of advances in research that have been made possible by the CF Foundation, but we're not done. We have a goal of finding a cure for every person with CF so that we don't have to live with a shortened life expectancy. These advances in these treatments, from what I understand, uh, cystic fibrosis was once considered uh, like a juvenile disease. Am I correct? Or pediatric disease, rather? Yeah, exactly. When the foundation was formed in the 50s, um, most people with CF didn't live to adulthood. And the parents that formed the foundation uh, wanted to believe and impact um, the research so that their their kids could live a better life. And because of that, um, we really truly have made incredible advances. You know, our um, we just had a conference and the theme of that conference was hope and action. And I truly believe that that is uh, a great way to describe the CF community. We are very hopeful and relentless in our pursuit of finding the answers for every person with CF. Finally, you know, I have to be honest, if you don't have a disease, you're so involved in the other things in your life, and you may have your own disease like hypertension or or diabetes or something like that, but 
once you learn about something, how do you get involved in helping people with CF? Well, there's never been a better time to get involved with the CF Foundation. I know I'm alive today because of the generosity of so many people. And the CF Foundation is currently investing in um, the best cutting-edge science, including um, in the genetic technology space, which we believe is a science that will lead to a cure. But we need your help to be able to cross that finish line. And the best way to get involved is to connect with your local CF chapter. And um, in order to do that, you can go to cff.org slash cfmonth. We have nearly 70 chapters across the country who hold events throughout the year, and we would absolutely love to have you on our team. For my audience to know that cystic fibrosis is a rare genetic disease that currently affects more than about 40,000 people in the U.S. alone. I want to thank you so much, Casey. I wish you the best that life has to offer. I want to see you triple that lifespan, and thanks for helping the people that you help. Have a great day. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBeebeShow.com and YouTube.com slash Show. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash Show and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.